Well, I mean, I have to be honest, I hated it. Um, it's directed by David Cup, who is probably better known as a writer and, you know, is an occasional director. And um, based on a series of novels by uh, Kirill or Cyril um, Bofilioli, um, this particularly on Don't Point That Thing at Me, which was a line which Gwyneth Paltrow delivered in the clip that was at the beginning of that interview. And I'm, a, as you know, a huge Paul Bettany fan. I was one of the people who absolutely loved Transcendence. Um, it's true, there are not many jokes in Transcendence, so I think there are some, and I still absolutely love that film. I, my biggest problem with uh, Mordecai was I thought it was insufferable and unfunny. From the opening moments that I realised that Johnny Depp was going to be doing that, you know, on the one hand, it's 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 a it's a sort of melange of Terry Thomas and the Thirteenth Duke of Wimborne as, uh, by as done Whitehouse. by Paul Whitehouse. Yeah but without the comic charm of either. And it is a comic performance. So the story is, I mean, you, I, you kind of covered this in the interview, but the story is basically he's a sort of rogue art trader and a Goya has gone missing and he is uh, called upon by the police in the person of Ewan McGregor, who is in love with his wife, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, Mordecai's wife, not... Uh, doesn't matter. Wife. doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You're right. Actually, Whatever. you know what? Whatevs. It yeah, doesn't exactly. matter. And uh, so they go from uh, London to uh, Rome and all the rest of it. And what was that? Was that a whatevs sign? It was a W. Okay, fine. Yeah. I wasn't sure what that meant. Keep so it short. Or that no, meant you're webcam. bombing the news. Or I didn't know what exactly what that meant. So fine. Um, and as soon as he started doing that voice, I thought, is he going to do that all the way through the film? And then you realise about 30 seconds in the year he is going to do that all the way yes. through the film. And then you and then you start seeing his physical performance. And it is a physical performance and a. The, you know, I always had a problem with Captain Jack Sparrow was it always looked to me like Johnny Depp was being directed by somebody who wasn't a strong enough director to say, no, just rein that in for heaven's sake. Well, in comparison with Mordecai, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow is a savage understudy, a savage uh, 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 study in Bergman-esque understatement. I mean, it is a gurning, grinning, you know, mustachioed, uh, pantomime performance in which everything is turned up to 11 stupid. And it starts to become irritating about 30 seconds into the film. And the problem with it is that for a start, I mean, it, does, it doesn't have a... Um, any comic touch in its direction. The, the direction is sort of, you know, very sort of bang, 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 bang in your face rather than having any lightness. It's interesting because uh, there there's a Marx Brothers season on at the moment with the, that the South Bank are doing. And, you know, you watch a Marx Brothers film in the same week as you watch Mordecai and you go, OK, fun. So on the one hand, funny. On the other hand, not funny.